Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Did you shoot a little bit too close to the subject? Wish you shot with a wider lens? Don't fret, generative AI can now expand the scene realistically with very little effort. While Adobe Photoshop is the leader in this space, in this video, we're going to be looking at two Adobe alternatives, Luminar Neo's Gen Expand and Canvas Magic Expand. Which is the best Adobe alternative for expanding the scene with generative AI? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. Let's start off with Magic Expand. Magic Expand comes part of a Canva Pro subscription and costs around 18 US dollars a month. As this is a web-based service, you need to first create an account after which upload the photos. Next, create a design. I'll specify a 4000 by 3000 pixel size. Next, I'll choose the photo. I'll click Edit Photo. Next, I'll click Magic Expand. Size the photo to make space for the scene expansion. I'll choose the entire image. And just like that, the scene is expanded. As you can see, Magic Expand generates four designs at a time. If you are not satisfied with any of the choices, simply regenerate to get another set of four. One nice thing about Magic Expand is its flexibility. The scene can be expanded to pretty much any size, allowing for very expansive landscapes. So that was Canvas Magic Expand. Let's move on to Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo's Gen Expand was just launched this past December 2023. This is a truly welcome development as it gives more choices to customers. Gen Expand comes with a Luminar Neo subscription, which as of this writing is on promo, costing only five US dollars a month, payable from month to month, far cheaper than Magic Expand. Luminar also offers a $150 perpetual license, which includes one year of generative AI. To use Gen Expand, first add your photos. Next, select the photo. Next, Click Gen Expand. Size the handles to allow space for scene expansion. Unlike Magic Expand, Gen Expand limits how far the handles can be moved and the overall size of the scene expansion. Once done, click Expand. There, the scene is expanded. Just like in Magic Expand, if you are not satisfied, click Expand again to regenerate the scene. The number of designs shown at a time is limited to just one in Gen Expand. So that is how you use both Magic Expand and Gen Expand. Now let's view the slideshow comparison. At the end of the slideshow, I'll give you my thoughts on which one is the better generative AI tool.
So I hope you enjoyed the slideshow comparison. Which one did I think was better, Magic Expand or Gen Expand? If it was not obvious from the slideshow, despite its higher price, I would say Magic Expand is the better technology and the one I would recommend for three reasons. First is flexibility. Magic Expand allows you to expand the scene to any size. Gen Expand was just too limiting. I couldn't get large landscapes like these, which cripples the utility of the tool. Second is convenience. Magic Expand presents four design choices at a time, while Gen Expand limits the choices to just one at a time. This means that with Magic Expand, you have a four times greater chance of getting a satisfactory design whenever you press the generate button. As you would imagine, with Gen Expand, there's a lot more clicking and waiting, clicking and waiting, and that workflow is just too slow and tedious to experience. The third reason is better quality. Magic Expand gave results more in line with what we expect with scene expansion. Gen Expand too frequently spewed results more akin to a gen swap, adding strange graphics that looked out of place with its surroundings. So if it sounds like a blowout win for Magic Expand, I do really think it is. However, it is early days, and I certainly am rooting for Luminar to improve the quality of Gen Expand over time and give Adobe a run for its money. Not sure if they need to switch their AI provider, but they certainly need to improve the service. Nevertheless, we overall like Luminar's aggressive pricing and interface implementation. So I hope you found this video helpful. Did you agree or disagree with my conclusions? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you know of any other generative AI services for scene expansion, let me know in the comments as well. I would be interested to try it. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.